Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about aortic stenosis including its causes, symptoms, risk factors, treatment options, and much more. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty of aortic stenosis, let's talk about the amazing machine that is your heart. Your heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout your body, keeping you alive and thriving. It's like the engine of a car, except instead of gasoline, it runs on oxygen and nutrients from the blood. But the heart isn't just a simple pump. It's a complex organ with four chambers, the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. These chambers are separated by walls of muscle called septums. It's like having four rooms in your house, each with a specific purpose, but all connected by hallways. Now, here's where things get really cool, your heart also has four valves that work together to keep the blood flowing in the right direction. Think of them like the locks on a canal that prevent boats from going the wrong way. The first two valves, the tricuspid and mitral valves, are located between the atria and ventricles. They open to let blood flow from the atria into the ventricles, and then close tightly to prevent any backflow. The second two valves, the pulmonary and aortic valves, are located at the exit points of the ventricles. They open to allow blood to be pumped out of the heart and into the lungs or the rest of the body, and then snap shut to prevent any blood from flowing back into the heart. Pretty amazing, right? So, let's get back to aortic stenosis and how it can affect these valves, leading to serious health problems if left untreated. What is aortic stenosis? Have you ever heard of aortic stenosis? It's a heart condition where the aortic valve narrows, making it harder for the heart to pump blood to the rest of the body. Think of it like a clogged pipe, but instead of water, the blood can't flow freely. This narrowing can cause chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, and even fainting. Aortic stenosis typically affects older adults but can also occur in younger people born with a bicuspid aortic valve, a congenital heart defect where the aortic valve has only two leaflets instead of three. The tricuspid aortic valve, on the other hand, has three leaflets. A bicuspid aortic valve is more prone to developing aortic stenosis as compared to a tricuspid aortic valve. It's a serious condition that, if left untreated, can lead to heart failure and even sudden cardiac arrest. That's why early diagnosis and treatment are essential. Don't let aortic stenosis take control of your life. We will discuss its causes, symptoms, and treatment options in the video so you can take charge of your health and live your best life. Causes Let's dive into the causes of aortic stenosis, the factors that can lead to this condition and make it a serious threat to our cardiovascular health. There are two main categories of causes, congenital and acquired. Congenital causes are present from birth and can arise from a variety of factors, such as an abnormal aortic valve structure. This can lead to the valve becoming narrowed or stenotic over time, which can cause problems with blood flow. These abnormalities are normally corrected at a young age through surgery. Acquired causes of aortic stenosis are more common and can result from a range of factors, such as age-related wear and tear, calcium buildup on the valve leaflets, and inflammation or scarring due to rheumatic fever, infection, or autoimmune diseases. There are also certain risk factors that can increase our chances of developing aortic stenosis, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and a family history of the condition. Symptoms When it comes to aortic stenosis, recognizing the symptoms early on is key to preventing serious complications down the line. The symptoms can be divided into two categories, early stage and advanced stage symptoms. Early stage symptoms may not be noticeable at first, but can include shortness of breath, 
fatigue, chest pain, heart palpitations. As aortic stenosis progresses, the symptoms become more severe and can include dizziness, fainting. These advanced stage symptoms are often caused by a lack of oxygen-rich blood reaching the brain and other organs due to the narrowed aortic valve. If you or a loved one is experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention right away. With early diagnosis and treatment, the chances of a successful outcome improve dramatically. So don't ignore those warning signs, take action and stay vigilant about your cardiovascular health. Diagnosis If you're experiencing symptoms of aortic stenosis, your doctor may recommend certain tests to diagnose the problem. One of the most common tests is an echocardiogram, which uses sound waves to create images of the heart and aortic valve. This test can show the size and function of the valve, as well as any signs of stenosis or regurgitation, where blood flows back into the heart instead of out to the body. Other tests may include a chest X-ray, electrocardiogram, ECG, and other specialist tests if required by the cardiologist. Treatment Options When it comes to treating aortic stenosis, there are a number of options available depending on the severity of the condition and the patient's overall health. For mild to moderate cases, medications like diuretics, also known as water tablets, for example, herosamide, and ACE inhibitors, such as Ramipril which is normally used to control high blood pressure, may be used to manage symptoms and reduce the workload on the heart. Lifestyle changes like regular exercise, a heart-healthy diet, and smoking cessation can also be helpful in managing the condition and preventing complications. For more severe cases of aortic stenosis, surgical intervention may be necessary. The most common option is transcatheter aortic valve implantation TAVI, which is a minimally invasive procedure that involves inserting a new valve through a small incision in the groin. The other option is traditional open-heart surgery to replace the damaged valve with a prosthetic one. This is a major surgery that has a prolonged recovery time, but it can offer long-term benefits for many patients. There are also a few other options that may be more suitable for you, so in order to determine the right course of treatment for you, it's important to work closely with your cardiologist. Together, you can explore the various options and weigh the potential risks and benefits to arrive at a plan that works for you. Complications Aortic stenosis can lead to a number of complications, particularly if left untreated or poorly managed. The most common complication is the heart enlarging over time and causing heart failure. This is when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. Other complications include arrhythmias or abnormal heart rhythms, blood clots, sudden cardiac arrest. One of the most serious complications of aortic stenosis is the slightly increased risk of developing infective endocarditis, which occurs when bacteria or other germs enter the bloodstream and attach to damaged heart valves. This can lead to a life-threatening infection and requires prompt medical attention and long hospital stays. Prognosis The prognosis for aortic stenosis depends on a number of factors, including the severity of the condition, the patient's age and overall health, and the presence of other medical conditions. In general, mild to moderate aortic stenosis can often be managed with medication and lifestyle changes however, the symptoms of aortic stenosis can become worse with time in which case surgical treatment is advised. Surgical treatment can greatly improve the prognosis in many who suffer from aortic stenosis. Overall, the key to a positive prognosis is Early detection and treatment Proactive management Strong partnership between patient and healthcare provider. So stay informed, stay engaged, and don't let aortic stenosis hold you back from living your best life. And that's it guys, I try to make aortic stenosis super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. 
As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.